there are a number of different places online where you can find public domain products and books and this is one of them is projectgutenberg.org it's uh, a project started some years ago and the whole purpose of it is to try copy public domain books into electronic format to make them uh, available to pretty much anyone and everyone now you can see here that there's compute uh, books in various different languages and there's the ability to look up X Y and Z uh, the alphabet you can look at top 100 search the database and so on so it's actually very very interesting you can find an awful lot of uh, books and information here so if we just have a look at the top 100 list you'll see what I mean now you can come here and you can see what's the top well the top book is the adventures of Sherlock Holmes that's obviously in the public domain now why would that be number one at the moment well that would be because the Sherlock Holmes movie the the new one by uh, I think it's Guy Ritchie has just been released so of course everyone's going I want to find out more about it but you can see here so there's lots and lots of these stories the adventures of Sherlock Holmes Pride and Prejudice Alice's Adventures in Wonderland Huckleberry Finn Christmas Carol etc etc so there's lots and lots of good stories here that you could do something with something really really good so you can see there's the, these are the popular ones if we go down you can see um, you know up to 100 there's lots and lots there but you can see here you've got the top 100 authors as well so you can look at the authors you can look at all them you can look at the top 100 ebooks in the last seven days um, the last 30 days as well so you can see there's a lot of information in here for you a lot of uh, different types of books that you can look up and of course you don't you can search as well um, you can do a search by title or author and you can search through uh, letter names if you spend some time here I pretty much guarantee you could find several hundred really really good products that you can use so you can you know really really uh, use this well they also and uh, if we we search somewhere they, they also do some audio books uh, I'm not entirely sure where the link is for that but they've started as well converting books into audio books here and here but you've got compilations you've got recorded music sheet music other recordings and pictures so they've actually now branched out from just plain old um, uh, plain old books into all these other categories as well so they suddenly become actually very very good for you very powerful there's a lot more uh, opportunities here for you so you can see here these are some of the um, red ones you can see you've got Aesop, Aesop's Fables and these are all in the public domain um, so you can do things with them yeah there's Beowulf there um, there's a couple of the biblical books so you can see lots and lots of potential with this site you can pretty much do what you want with it so yeah you know, highly profitable potential site for you so you know spend some time here and it's gonna blow you away with what you can do here's another site that's full of useful information it's IPL.org it's the uh, internet public library so basically you can browse in different subjects here and you can see it's got a lot of information and again yeah you know, a lot of things in here that you could potentially use for um, help you know to, to, to create websites to create products as bonuses you know pretty much whatever you want there's an awful lot of information in here that's potentially very very valuable to you I mean there's lots of other sites like this you know you can see they link to uh, sites here and you can go through these and you can find you know there's magazines there's all sorts so you can go through here and find some really really good pieces of information I did say to you in one of the earlier videos that finding good public domain material does take some work and it, it does to be perfectly fair it is going to take a little bit of time however spend that time and you can see the resources are incredible but you do have to spend some time digging around to see what you can find so you can see there's archaeological information here and so on so this is another site that you could potentially use to find those uh, little gold nuggets that you can earn from this is a company called Abe Books. Now, Abe Books are a company that will search for books for you. They're very, very good at finding books, and basically they'll find out-of-print books, hard-to-get-hold-of-books. So, of course, 
this is a, a great way of finding um, books. So you could put in an author here, or alternatively, what you could do is you can put in uh, published dates. So let's do 1901 to 1923, and just click Find Book. And you, you know, so we've got to put some terms in. So uh, fair enough. Uh, let's put in let's put in Napoleon Hill here. Napoleon Hill. And if we do find book, let's see what what it comes up with. But this this is a way of getting hold of books. So here you are that that are out of print, potentially hard to get hold of, books that are, um, you know, in the public domain that you could make money with. So you can see here this, this is a, a 1982 edition. Obviously, they're they're a little bit modern, but we can go through and you can see there's Think and Grow Rich there. Um, there's many many more there with different years so you can see there's lots and lo lots of potential here if you can find some titles of very old books that you want then I'm pretty sure you'll be able to find them on here you can see there's many different versions of this from many many different years so these may or may not be what you're after but certainly you can search through and find various books here that are uh, in the public domain, you can you know pick up titles that are pre previous to uh, 1923. If you um, want to do it simple, you can put in the keyword in the title. Um, so we could put in, um, let's put in fish for example. Let's see if that comes up with anything published between those years. It may or may not. So there you are. There's there's some books there. So again it's just a, a search to show you birds of other lands reptiles fishes blah 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 1917 guess what that's in the public domain I could purchase that book it's a dollar sixty five that's that's nothing absolutely nothing and then I can pay someone a few dollars or scan it so that it's online and then I can use it to um, basically make money um, let's have a look what else have we got I mean, I can't believe the price of these books. Look, there's another one there. 1917. It's in very good condition. It's a first edition. Three dollars. Yeah, the, these these are are guaranteed public domain products. You know, they're previous to 1923. So you can see lots and lots of information. So you can sit here and search for hours. And you can order the book. You can then scan it in. You can get. Um, with with these old books, I, I should warn you: if you're going to try and um, turn them into a, a electronic product, you can either type it in or pay someone to type it in, and that's easily done. You can put an advert on Craigslist and find someone locally to do it. The other alternative is to scan it, and I don't recommend using a flatbed scanner. If you're going to scan a book in, particularly one of these older books, you want to get a handheld scanner and use that. That would be a lot safer. It's not going to ruin the book. And the last thing you want is to ruin a book that's managed to live for you know, 80 odd years, 80, 90 years. You don't want to damage it uh, straight off. So you can see that, you know, 1913, 1921, 19. Yeah, look at this. How good is this? 1905, a book on cooking. Instant, niche. People love cookery books. Um, and I'm sure that's one that people that are into cookery will be very interested in. People love old recipes. So you can see, again, lots and lots. There's a, an old National Geographic magazine there. Um, engineering economics, you know. What else have we got? You yeah, know, we just entered one keyword and it's brought us up uh, almost 2,000 results. So you know that's not bad there's a lot of potential here for you to make money again yeah mar notes on marine fishes um, and more you know we could sit here and go through this for hours and hours and find you know, valuable information I mean all this description of fishes and the um, um, yeah anthropological information if you like that could be turned into an AdSense site even you know what's my fish dot com you know or spotterfish dot com um you know there's a book on taxidermy there as well people are into taxidermy so you know you could buy that scan it you've got a product instantly so 
I mean, yes, okay, A Books isn't going to give you books for free, okay? But they're not expensive. I mean, let's face it, um, this book here, Taxidermy Book, eight, uh, that's, that would cost me $11 delivered to my door if I'm in the USA. Yeah, I can scan it, put it up onto a website, drive some traffic to it, even if it's just AdSense traffic. I mean, $11, I can earn that back in no time at all. I'm sure if you did a search for taxidermy, you'd find some good keywords, and you could get ranking for it. So, you know, you could then search for other books on taxidermy here and see what you could come up with. So the potential is massive. So what I recommend you do, again, is come and search through somewhere like this and see what you can find you know yes you got to pay for some of the books but you're gonna get hold of books that probably aren't in electronic format many of these are not gonna be on Project Gutenberg or any of the other sites that you're gonna find they're only gonna exist as physical books so you can bring these to the internet first of all and obviously you'll have valuable information that very few other people if anyone will have on the internet and particularly if you edit it, you can make it your own unique product then. So let's look at one more site now for public domain books. And here again is another one. It's similar to A Books. Again, if I put fishing and um, if I put a year of uh, 1917 in, for example, um, no, that was during the, the, the war. So at 1908, there's probably more published then and do a search you can see there you are there's a lot more books here the these are a bit more expensive as you can see I mean that's um, 75 US dollars I mean that's quite a bit of money but again you could potentially make a lot back from that it's, uh, looks like it's in it looks like it's in pretty good condition um, they don't seem to have quite as much information uh, as a books but it's still worth searching they probably find they have books here that aren't on uh, a book so again yes you're gonna have to spend some money here um, finding buying the books but the best thing of all is you're gonna get unique books you're gonna be able to get hold of uh, books that pretty much aren't available anywhere else let's take uh, that out of title let's put angling in there and let's see what comes up and uh, let's do do a search again 1908 angling You've got Angling and Art in Scotland, uh, various versions there. Uh, that's in poor condition, that's £10. Um, that's in good condition, that's 100 UK pounds, that's about 150 to $170. Um, you've got a book there about uh, fly fishing. And many, many more. So you can see that, I mean, here I know, I know for instantly Isaac Walton is a very very well known name he's quite famous he has uh, the house he was born in or lived in is preserved and is a museum so you know again that's in the public domain so you what we could do is if we cop copy that and let's take that off and let's do put his name in there and then we could pick a century and let's pick the 20th century Let's have a look. So you can see there's many of his books here. You got this one here, 1909. Again, you know Isaac Walton is a well-known character. So yeah, you know, he's the sort of person that well maybe you could take his books. Um, that many of them probably are in the public domain. There you are. See, that's the book he's famous for, The Complete Angler, uh, 1947. You'd have to check to see whether this one's in the uh, public domain or not. But you could take his books, create a site about Isaac Walton and then put all his books on there, history of him, information about his house and where he lived and all sorts of information like that and there you are, there I see that one there, 1909 that one's in the public domain so you could use that so you can see awful lot of potential here for you to create websites and specific niches, as I said I, create a web, I could create a website about Isaac Walton and about angling and there you are, I've got a money making niche so have a think about these you know, go through these sites, have a look, because there's an awful lot of potential. Now, before you buy a book from here, check in a couple of the electronic places, because you may find that you can get the electronic version for free without actually having to pay for it. You may not be able to, in which case that's fine. But remember, if you buy a physical copy, you're going to need to scan it. And to do that, you are going to need to have either a hand scanner, 
you're either going to have to pay someone to do it or pay a company. There are companies that specialize in taking apart these old books, scanning them, and then putting them back together. So you've got a lot of potential here for niches. You know, this is just, we've just looked at books and already, you know, there's dollar signs coming out of your ears here as you can see how much potential money you can make. I mean, it's incredible the potential here for you. So this is all about, you know, how to find books. We're going to talk about how to find other public domain materials in the next few videos. So, you know, just, you know, sit back. I'm sure you're getting excited. You're probably keen. So, yeah, if you want to go and start searching for books, that's fine. You can do that. But we're going to go into some even more information next that's going to really blow your mind and show you how to profit significantly from public domain materials.